Do you have a drawing or painting that you would like to be featured during the moment of silence? Please scan the QR code or visit bit.ly slash Mozart to submit your work. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What's up, guys? We have a new segment called Anonymous. Each week, we will address a problem set in by one of you. It's completely anonymous. Send us your problems and we got you. Programming Challenge, a separate live virtual event of the student technology competition, is open to all students in grades 7 through 12. Details on this opportunity are available at www.gastc.org slash programming hyphen challenge. Including previous year's problems sets, new this year you may compete with the partner for the challenge. Registration is now live at this link until January 12th, Wednesday at 11.59 p.m. The programming challenge competition will be held virtually on January 22nd, Saturday, or February 5th, Saturday, for at least four hours. Details about the virtual event is coming soon once registration is finalized. Participants must have or create an account at www.replit.com and practice with it before the competition. All work will be done and submitted on this platform. County-issued laptops should have no problem accessing this platform. Our 2022 Scholastic Book Fair is coming the end of January. All ELA classes will visit the fair and students may also visit with passes. Stay tuned for the book trailers and other exciting news. If you are in 7th or 8th grade, then you have already read the novel A Long Walk to Water by Linda Sue Park. You know that there are so many people in Africa who don't have access to a clean and consistent source of water. Girls are forced to walk far to get water for their family and can't go to school. Village markets and healthcare facilities can't be built without access to water. WBMS has committed to making a difference. We are raising money to build a well in South Sudan to make people's lives better. We have joined South Dutes Iron Giraffe Challenge to try and raise $15,000, which is the cost to build one well. You can help in many ways. First, you can donate directly to our Iron Giraffe Challenge fundraising page. Second, you can register to walk our WBMS Walks for Water 5K event on February 27th, 2022. It will be an afternoon of fun-filled family activities, including an interactive 5K walk, games, activities, and entertainment for the whole family. With your registration, you will also get a t-shirt made by our very own WBMS students, Addie, Ben, and Ashant. And lastly, you can spread the word about our fundraiser and the 5K. Help us get people to sign up and attend. Just keep walking. Get ready, WBMS students. We are doing something amazing here at WBMS. Save the date, Sunday, February 27th, 2022 at 1 p.m. at WebBridge. Do you want to embrace your learning of history? Well, lucky for you, National History Day, or NHD, is a nationwide competition that lets you do this. The skills you gain from this club include problem solving, critical thinking, and most importantly, research. There are regional, state, and national competitions. You make a history research project connecting your chosen historical event to the theme of debate and diplomacy in the form of a paper, documentary, performance, exhibit, or website. To learn more, visit www.nhd.org. Embrace your learning for the past to gain helpful skills for the future. Ivy Bridge Academy's after-school public speaking and debate program offers a chance for students to learn and engage with current events through the activity of debate. Students who participate in our program will leave with a sense of accomplishment, newfound confidence, and a skill set that will help them through the rest of their schooling and even in adulthood. Join today. Classes offered on Wednesdays from 4.15 to 5.45, starting February 9th, 2022. Happy Flourishing Friday, Jaguars. Today we are going to talk about resilience. All students experience difficult circumstances and stressful life events. The ability to bounce back from them and learn and grow from them is called resilience. Resilience is a vital skill for navigating through life's ups and downs. Here's a quick video sharing more about resilience and how we can be resilient at school. Hey guys, today we're going to discuss resilience.
Resilience is the ability to bounce back quickly from difficult or tough situations. According to the American Psych Association, resilience is the process of adapting well in the face of adversity, trauma, tragedy, threat, or significant sources of stress. Michael Jordan, who's considered to be one of the best basketball players of all time, when he was a teen, he was cut from his high school basketball team. He responded by going home, locking himself in his room and crying, but he did not quit. He went on to achieve so much in his athletic career, but if he quit, he would not have been able to achieve all of the amazing things and inspire so many other athletes. Did you know that Walt Disney, the creator of Mickey Mouse, was fired from a newspaper for lacking imagination and not having any original ideas? Keep in mind that resilience is developed by working through challenges. So you can't build resilience if you don't experience things that are hard and if you don't keep going despite the difficulty. Just like Michael Jordan, you may feel hurt or experience other emotions when facing challenges and that's okay. You just have to work through those challenges and learn to cope with stress effectively. Positive self-talk, setting short-term goals, and thinking positively are some ways to cope with stress. Resilience can be learned and developed in anyone. It's not just a trait that some people are born with. You learn and develop resilience by trying new things even if they're hard. When you try new things, know that you may fail, but it's important to push past your comfort zone, get back up, and keep trying. Have a support system in place, including family, friends, mentors, and teachers. Have people there to help you and give you love and support when needed. Reflection questions. What is something that you have done that was difficult, but you did not give up on? How do you plan to build your resilience? What is your favorite story of resilience? Is it the story of someone famous, a mentor, or friend? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the like button and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Lessons for SEL and follow us on social media. Missed an announcement? Subscribe to our YouTube channel and revisit announcements and more. Teachers, have an announcement? Email us at wbmsnews at fultonschools.org. Have a great day, Webridge, where we value respect, responsibility, citizenship, perseverance, integrity, and positivity. Thank <laughs> you.